sure that these laws actually pass. So you need to actually vote for people who believe what you believe in legalization. And one of those people is here with me today. He's running as state representative of the 27th Middlesex. And he is running as a pirate. His name is Aaron James. Aaron James? What's up, Boston? It is an honor to be here. I appreciate Mass Can letting me up up here on stage today and I appreciate you all being here for Boston Freedom Rally. If there is one thing to take away from this rally is that the passage of question four is up to us. Up to us. Up that hill right there, they do not want it to pass. They want us to fail. They do not want us to vote. They do not want us to be a part of our government. But together, we got question four on the ballot this year. We are going to pass it, and we are going to implement it, and we are going to take control of this market. It, does, it is not going to happen, though, if we do not show up to vote. We've been hearing it all day, and it's not only us. We need to be getting our friends out. We need to be getting our family out. We need to be getting as many people as we can to the polls to vote on question four. Yes, and we will pass it in Massachusetts, and then it's the next step. It's the next step from there. We have got to make sure implementation goes correctly. We have got to make sure it does not fall into corrupt hands and that our current dealers and our current suppliers are a part of the marketplace, building their legal businesses and getting a part of the pie. Yeah. God. Treatment, opioid epidemic. We are losing three people a day in this state to opioids. And our state legislator fails to recognize that marijuana can be a part of someone's recovery. If someone's coming out of jail or treatment and they're smoking a little bit of pot, that does not mean they should be thrown out of that treatment or thrown back in jail. In fact, marijuana can become a part of that person's recovery. And we have got to be looking at marijuana as a part of the opioid epidemic. And if your state legislator doesn't get that, doesn't get that we are losing three people a day when they could have just smoked pot and been with, working with a doctor and gotten through that hump, then they need to be elected out. And that is up to us. That is up to us here at this rally. They're not going to do it for us. I cannot stress enough how important it is for us to vote. I know we view that our system is corrupt, and it's something many of us do not want to be a part of. That leads to prohibition. That leads to policies. That leads people out in the street where more and more wealth goes to the top. That leads to the policies that has our friends, our brothers, our sisters in jail for crimes that were nonviolent and coming out of jail and prison without the support and treatment that they need and the jobs that they need. It's about social and economic productivity. That's what our treatment centers need to become focused on. We'll leave it at that. I'm running in Somerville. I know many folks here probably aren't in Somerville. But these third party campaigns need support. They need help to win and become viable. Unfortunately, money still is a part of our system. And it's going to take third parties becoming viable with the current system to be able to change it. I hope you can come to support our campaign in Somerville in one way or the other. Support local representatives who get what marijuana is and what needs to happen. And I hope you can involve yourself and consider running as well. Thank you. What's your website? So that's Aaron James. So you can find him online at voteaaronjames.org as well as his Facebook at Vote AJ Somerville. Thank you so much for your time.